astronaut Malcolm Scott Carpenter plays the starring role in America's newest space spectacular. The 37-year-old Carpenter was the backup or stand-in pilot for John Glenn, the first American to orbit the Earth. Today, the Navy Lieutenant Commander, who grew up at the corner of Aurora and 7th Streets in Boulder, Colorado, is ready for the hour when he will make the momentous journey out of this world. Colonel Glenn is among those at his side in the pre-launch period before his great adventure. Carpenter is described as self-confident, very optimistic. His fellow astronauts and the hard-working Project Mercury team, equally confident of the man and his mission. The U.S. is ready to launch its second orbital flight as part of the continuing investigation leading to a manned flight to the moon and return. Before dawn at Cape Canaveral, Carpenter strides from Hangar S into the glare of lights and enters the van for the four-mile trip to the launching pad. At the launch site, it is quiet, and there is the calm which belies the tenseness which always dominates this setting, where man initiates his greatest rendezvous with space. The silver-suited carpenter walks in the footsteps of three other astronauts, two who took short-range rides to the threshold of space, and one who blazed the orbital trail. The elevator takes Carpenter to the 11th deck where his spacecraft, Aurora 7, awaits him. Like Colonel Glenn, the Navy test pilot will attempt three orbits of the Earth. Haze and fog interrupt an otherwise perfect countdown and those who will bring the great story to the world in words and pictures stand by along with the army of observers and technicians. The nation and the world are glued to the happenings at the Cape. Even though it's been done before, the interest will build. The complacency will vanish once the word is flashed that Carpenter is leaving this earth. After almost an hour... 